It's been nearly four years since Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta was named as a suspect, facing crimes against humanity charges at the International Criminal Court. Now he can heave a sigh of relief. Anyway, I'm very excited, by the way. So. Um. In its notice of withdrawal of charges against President Uhura Kenyatta, the International Criminal Court's Office of the Prosecutor wrote, The evidence has not improved to such an extent that Mr. Kenyatta's alleged criminal responsibility can be proven beyond reasonable doubt, and goes on to say, the prosecution withdraws its charges. The latest twist may, however, come as little surprise for many observers, since the prosecution signaled a possible collapse of the case after failing to commence trial in February 2014, in spite of having been cleared by pre-trial judges to press charges against Uhura Kenyatta back in January 2012. Prosecutors and lawyers representing victims of the 2007-2008 violence say Uhuru used his political power to obstruct their investigation, especially since becoming president last year. Kenyatta's defense have, however, consistently denied the allegations and accused the prosecution of carrying out shoddy investigations. When the case came to a deadlock in October, Kenyatta's defense lawyer Stephen Kay said the prosecution's case had collapsed and argued, it is plainly not the case that was brought against him that can be sustained at all. And so when I say there is no evidence, I say deliberately there is no evidence. Because if there was evidence, we would have a trial. The prosecutors appealed for the case to be suspended indefinitely until they had enough evidence to continue. But on Wednesday, ICC judges issued an ultimatum, proceed or withdraw. Just two days later, they dropped the case. The cases against Kenyatta and his deputy William Reuter are the highest profile proceedings in the court's 11-year history. Judges agreed that Kenya had not cooperated in good faith with the court but decided against making a referral. However, prosecutors did secure one small victory. The court did not acquit Kenyatta of the charges, as his lawyers had requested. This means the charges could be brought again in future if more evidence becomes available. The prosecution had accused Uhuru of orchestrating a wave of deadly violence after Kenya's 2007 elections, in which over 1,000 people died. <laughs> Kenyatta denies all charges which he says are politically motivated and has accused the ICC of being biased against African leaders. Maria Galang, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.